Come unfold your passion, your potential, so you can step into your place of influence. Let's go. I am really excited to be with my bestest buds here to do our second vlog about how to step into your place of influence. And I couldn't be asking better people to just like hang with me for a minute <laughs> and for us to talk to you. Like what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a picture of people who do that, who step into their place of influence, who are about others, who are about developing others. And let me tell you, these two women do that all the time. They love others and they're always about trying to develop them. So they hate the camera, which is why I just couldn't <laughs> wait to do this because I'm like, okay guys, let's talk about, you know, why we think that's important. Why is it more important than to, you know, to, to spend time weekly and it's not about being in some corporate structure. That's not how we develop others. It's about giving time. It's like pouring into other people, giving time each week to pour into others. And you guys have been doing it your whole life. I mean, this one right here, when we go out to the beach, she's all, I call her my connector. She's always connecting, <laughs> Stacia is. So why do you think it's important to spend time every week with someone developing them? Well, I think... There's a verse that talks about that we should consider others more important than ourselves. So mm -hmm. that's one reason. Yep. And I just feel like I'm a little older than a few people. And mm -hmm. so if I can pour in a few things that maybe I've learned in my life yep. into others, then hopefully that could be helpful to somebody. Yep. So true. Gosh, I mean, it's like to give that time and to be willing to take your experiences and your strengths and your abilities and all the things that, you know, we've been blessed with and make it more about someone else than ourselves. Um, you know, isn't that what really influence is all about, is taking the focus off ourselves and putting it on someone else. What do you think, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Oh, I agree. I think um, if people can learn from uh, things that I've learned from, even mistakes and failures, I can keep them from falling into some pits that I've fallen into myself or things that I've learned the hard way. Yeah. Um, but just things that God has taught me that I can pass on to the next generation or, or even peers, mm -hmm. you know, that I can just pass on to them. You know, something Kelly just said about like being real, um, and authentic and being willing to like say the things that we've not done really well mm -hmm. and the failures and, you know, one of the things about my best friends here is they've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we don't like to show that to people. But isn't that the greatest influence that we can have when we're willing to do that? Like, mm -hmm. to be real and authentic. They have taught me a lot about what being real is about, you know. And we've seen changes in people because of it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just to sign off, mm -hmm. and we're really glad to be just, you know, talking about this. What would you guys say, you know, to someone out there who's trying to step into their place of influence that wants to develop other people, but they're not really sure how to do that? And from a picture of what you've done, what would, what would you tell them? You want to go first? Just start from where you are, um, even not where you want to be or where you think you should be in your place of influence, but just where you are. And... Um, People will respond to that realness and authenticity and not, you don't have to have it all together. Um, and it'll make them feel more willing to open up and um, so that they'll allow you to go on that journey with them as they struggle and um, try to just become the people that they were created to be. Mm -hmm. What about you, Stacey? Yeah, I would say I would agree with that for sure and to be willing to share the mistakes and not try to keep those hidden or keep those to yourself because I, I'm 55 and I'm just now sharing things mm -hmm. from my past that I probably just mm -hmm. have struggled with sharing just because of pride. Mm -hmm. So to share those things with young women I think helps them and also when you shed light on those bad things then God can use them. And it's not a scary thing anymore. So, and he's forgiven us for failures and whatever. I mean, That's right. Maybe, maybe even just not doing something you should have done, sin of omission. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, yeah, be willing yeah. to share those things. Mm -hmm. I so agree. And, you know, it's like you guys said, just start where you are. And there are people all around us. 
that we could influence. We just have to um, intentionally awaken to that and the fact that there are people around us who really, really do need someone to pour into them, to mentor, to learn from experience. We're just a step ahead of other people. That's about all we know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when we get to that point where it's intentional and we want to be that person and we want to recognize the people around us that may need that pouring into, and when we just start where we are and when we're real, mm -hmm. it's funny how our influence and impact grows. And, um, and making a difference in this world, leaving a legacy, honoring God, mm -hmm. those are all things that... Um, you know, we're blessed with knowing our important. Right, mm -hmm. girls? That's right. right. Exactly. So love you guys. Thanks love for joining too. me. Okay. This is an awesome time. And um, just give a shout out. Go see NanetteHitchcock.com and come along with the journey to kind of let me help you find your place of influence. So thanks for joining us today. See ya. Bye.